Greetings. This information was compiled for the R, IRS Reddit community, and anyone interested in Puerto Rican and other foreign captive insurance schemes. Unscrupulous promoters continue to lure US persons into placing their assets in offshore accounts and structures, saying they are out of reach of the IRS. Many of these schemes are promoted and advertised online, but they all have one thing in common, they promise tax savings that are too good to be true and will likely cause legal harm to taxpayers. One such tax shelter involves a captive insurance company, usually based offshore. A tax-dodging business owner will get an inflated policy at an unethical captive insurance company, and the business will take a large deduction for that insurance expense. The insurance company will then internally segregate the premiums earned from that particular business so that each set of premiums earned from each client is attributed solely to the business owner's policy. The money paid in builds up in the business owner's account for years, and then the premiums get kicked back to the business owner as stock options or other padded kickbacks. Classic Double Dipping How does it work? An insurance company creates a segregated asset plan in Puerto Rico. This allows the insurance company to create little pockets of assets to back the insurance policies of particular insured businesses. This is self-insurance and not actual insurance for U.S. tax purposes. Usually, a Puerto Rican citizen will own the company on paper, but stock warrants or stock options are given to business owners so that when the time comes, they can cash out by selling their stakes. One of the tax law requirements for insurance is that it has risk distribution. The promoters of this deal claim that because the insurance company is issuing policies to numerous businesses, this means that risk distribution is present. However, this isn't risk distribution because the insurance company internally segregates risks among the individual protected cells of the business owners, not industry-wide. To try to evade this, the insurance company will create the image of risk distribution by adding supplemental industry-based risk policies. Usually, these have high self-insurance retention amounts where most claims do not occur. So again, it's not insurance. Puerto Rico segregated asset companies especially suffer from similar effects of this abusive captive insurance scheme and generally have these qualities to watch out for. Vague risks coverage, the policies issued by these companies purport to cover. Such vague risks as business interruption and are drafted so that it is unclear what might be covered or not. Very high premiums, the premium amounts charged by these companies bear little relationship to similar commercial tips or reality. Low claim risk pools, the ostensible pooling of risks has yielded few or no claims that the other protected cells have shared the loss, and even where there have been some claims, the risk pools of these deals are just for show and bear no relationship to reality. Watch out for insurance groups claiming Puerto Rican sovereignty will keep this process legitimate. It won't.